What's going on, everybody? Doc, your average gamer guys, back again. Another last day on Earth action and another video jumping into our Wasteland Survival Guide. Today, we're talking about Blackport PD and the best way to work through surviving some waves. Let's get to it. All right, as always, a quick upfront, what this is intended to do and our Wasteland Survival Guide is intended to do is to do a deep dive into different locations, talk about different tactics, tips, tricks, and just general knowledge about the location to hopefully make you a little bit more successful, whether it be clearing that location, understanding the different aspect of the game, whatever the case may be in that regard. So uh, as always, I ask folks down below, share any tips, tricks, or anything that is helpful that I missed, uh, and be sure to uh, help to build these up to be a really good resource for everybody to come and hopefully uh, learn something new as well as help them to progress uh, in this game. So first and foremost, let's talk about Blackport PD. Why would you go here? Well, there's actually lots of different reasons that you would want to head here. First and probably biggest is the fact that it is a really good location for loot. It's also probably the best location to grab weapon mods. If you're not familiar with Blackport PD at all, it's in the kind of the northeast section of the map, or I guess the, the due east section of the map from your base. It is a little bit more of a difficult location in terms of doing the wave clearances, but it's also a location that you can clear to work through to get some additional rewards. It has three up to five total terminals that you can go ahead and utilizing different police cards essentially get rewards from. They range from a orange card, which is the most basic, up to a green, up to a blue, and then finally the purple card. As you would imagine, as you insert those different cards, you get a different set of rewards. We've done the purple cards quite a few times on the channel here. Inspector cards, they are the best. They always reward a purple or very rare weapon blueprint, blue, does blue weapon blueprints and uh, the green crate will give you the basic weapon blueprints uh, that you can pick up. So it's a great, great to be able to farm those. In addition to that, every season, which we currently have going on right now and have already completed, but are going to use the benefits of, we have the Blackport PD event. This is great to be able to grab some additional season progress. That's the only rewards I personally have ever seen as part of this. The good part here is that you get additional protection from explosions. You'll understand why here in a minute. In addition to that, the waves can be paused. So normally this location outside of the event, if you go in to do the waves and you die, for instance, you have to utilize an electronic circuit in order to kind of continue your progress. In this, you can pause it. You essentially, you can stop if you don't have enough resources or whatever, or you do end up dying. You can go back, you can restart this location for free this is a fantastic time as all seasonal events are to go in and to knock this location out huge benefit to you and uh, the rewards that you can get inside of the wave area specifically are the different colors of cards uh, most commonly you're going to get the orange or the basic card you will have a decent chance of finding green cards and then on the upper levels you have chances of getting dropped a blue card and multiples over the course of that. We've also done a 99 waves video. If you want to go check that out, the waves portion of this goes to 99 uh, levels. The first time you clear it, you actually get a bike skin, which is one that we've used for a long time. So there is a reward for getting through it completely. In addition to all the experience you get for killing the zombies, the seasonal experience that you get for killing the zombies. And again, any cards that you get that are dropped as part of the event uh, or as part of clearing that location as well one last reason that you might want to come in and take this out is because there are a few different raider tasks related to taking care of and knocking out uh either the waves or turning in the cards as part of blackport pd uh, so this one we have 20 waves we're going to go do this here with you and we're going to talk about the different strategies to take that down in addition uh we also have a raider task that requires you to turn in three green cards uh as part of it as well it was actually a raider task that we had uh as we prepared for the raid prior to this so these are locations there are, these are items that uh, also come up from time to time the nice part here is we're getting a good balance of seasonal tasks and seasonal kind of uh know quests that we have uh, and the benefits we'll get from that in addition to being able to knock this out so we're gonna head over there we're gonna get into the wave portion and we will talk a little bit about that once we get over there 
All right, so we are here, and I wasn't originally going to do this, but I think I'm am, uh, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about this location and clearing it in general. You can pick up some of these rewards over the course of clearing it, and the and the loot that's actually inside of this location, outside of doing the waves, can actually be pretty beneficial. As you can see here, you have a pretty good selection of uh, kind of some basic stuff. Uh, you can find some weapons, you can find some sets of armor as well, which is pretty neat. More importantly, though, I want to comment on that you can find heals here with relative consistency. You can find springs with some good consistency as well, just in the different uh, kind of chests and, and things throughout, uh, as well as, uh, again, some swap pieces of armor. I will show you the locations, but you do need to have your burglar skill leveled up to make the best out of this. There is one uh, locked chest and there are two locked rooms that require the burglar skill and we'll showcase those as well in addition to that there is the cell keys there are six i think it's six six total cells uh that are in one area of this you will get probably two to three of these keys per run uh, my recommendation is you grab do this location three times before you grab these when you unlock one of the cells or each of the cells you get to search the bed most of the time they have just some basic stuff inside of them a little bit of food but uh but one of the cells in each of the times that you will clear this location will have uh a um uh, rewards that include a uh, like a white shirt as well as a steel plate and a few other items so it can be a good place to find some steel uh, if you want to go ahead and kind of test your luck or again, rig the system, quote unquote, if you will, by just having enough keys to open each of the cells. And we'll showcase what that looks like here uh, as we jump in. Okay, so as we get into the location here, the first thing I always like to do, there's a vending machine, which is great. There's a little bit of food. There's a little bit of water here. Uh, so that is really, really beneficial. The other thing I want to talk about is what gear we have to go into this. So some of most of this is going to be very specific, not to just not to clearing the location, but for standing the waves. I want to make that important distinction in terms of clearing the location. I really genuinely think you can do it with three things, some decent melee weapons, something good that you can make use of to do sneak attacks because you can get sneak attacks on a ton of these enemies, obviously have some decent armor because uh, there is good kind of crowd-ish type zombie interactions here at this location. So have some good heals on you. I would also tell you that you probably should have at least one gun. And the reason for that is the, the bigger police guys, the floater bloaters of the police, the sergeants, uh, they will recover health when they hit you. So being able to get them down, I'll talk about the tactics to get there, but you should have a gun in order to take them down. The rest of the gear that you see here, and essentially it's just sets of armor and heals, uh, I will talk about once we jump into the waves. So um, clearing this location, here's the terminals uh, as well. So again, we have the max terminals. You start with three. These two you have to fix in order to get access to them. Just like this last six one, you can't fix it because tungsten is not yet in the game. We've essentially poured all the resources into this besides this. But uh, once you clear each of the terminals or fix one of the terminals, you will then have access to each time getting additional box and these work very much like the bunker alpha crates we'll go ahead we'll jump into this we'll drop one of the cards in and out will pop the box and the different rewards inside of that um, at this this little raider here will actually exchange your cards up so you can take 10 of each of the card to get to the next level i will say this very clearly and we have a few other videos that cover this but getting to the blue cards unless you are specifically trying to hunt for the last very rare mods that you have, it is not worth it to go to these purple inspector cards, okay? Save your cards, get to blues. Blues have very, very good armor in them. They have great, great weapons inside of them. Steel, some really good metals, aluminum plates. This is where you want to stop. If you can't quite get to blue, getting green cards is a great way to get tactical sets of armor and good guns and weapons. You will from time to time get machetes and katanas and things like that in this crate. This is fantastic as you're starting out, just working through your progression if you can get to these, okay? If you can get to blue, highly recommend it. Again, the weapon mods are great here. Again, you'll get weapon mods for the greens, but you'll get blue in the blue cards. This is my opinion where you wanna stop. Again, use your resources as you see fit, but you are spending a ton of cards to get to inspector with not a ton of total gain outside, again, of getting a very rare 
weapon blueprint so do keep that in mind but we're gonna go ahead and clear this location we have a couple of different enemies here we have some zombie officers we have these jailbirds we have these other zombie officers and again i like to sneak these now we have one of the sergeants here in this side room the side room is also the first location that we will need to have our burglar skill but what i like to do here is sneak these guys i swapped the wrong thing i sneak this guy basically kill him once you get him down below 50 health he will move slowly like that other than that he will run quickly you do have the option of getting these uh sergeant cards to drop from these enemies as well as the cell keys and you'll see that here in just a second this left locker does require you to have the burglar skill it can be up to level three i do believe so do just keep that in mind but if it is up to level three very typically you will see a, a piece of swat armor in this which is really really nice as well and again there's a good weapon in there you're going to see from the course of these crates that we open up uh, these typically do have armor in them uh, that uh, the rewards are pretty decent now here i would recommend you can pop this jailbird if you want if you have a long enough distance range weapon uh, sometimes you can kill the big guy we're not going to we have a brawler here that essentially uh he acts much like a floater bloater. He will jump and land, but when he lands, he will do a stun attack. And uh, we killed him a little too quickly for that, so I do apologize. We're going to come over here. We're going to get some jailbirds. Just be careful with these guys. The mob, as you're seeing, even with tactical armor, they're doing 60 damage. We have my least favorite zombie in the entirety of the game, the riot zombie. I freaking hate these guys. And what you're going to see is... Uh, this guy will stun to attack you from time to time with his shield. And then he will also put a shield up, which means that we can't hurt him. Can't hurt him at all, which is really, really frustrating. Uh, not even my dog is getting in for some damage, which is uh, pretty, pretty frustrating. So you have to wait till they're done. Then you can pop him and you can finish him off. So um, that should take care of most. There are two additional zombies, which we'll get to here in a second. The rest of this location will go ahead clear these up i'm going to use this you can kite these jailbirds over to be able to to do this these were the set of cells that i was talking about that require keys okay and again my recommendation for this is get the six or so keys that you need i think it's six two four i think it is six get the six keys that you need to be able to open up all of these you can just dice roll them and randomly open them if you want uh, but i recommend that you do my method because then it guarantees that each time you do it you're going to be able to open the cell that has the steel plate in it you can also get these that'll have these guys in them that uh they may jump up and scare you this is the next location that you need the burglar skill for you need to be able to lock this this room is pretty solid in my opinion for the different rewards a lot of times here you will see springs you also see diaries, which is really, really good if you're progressing through the game and trying to get those last additional levels. Again, you'll see that we have some heals in here. Uh, we have some sergeant cards, wrench, some alcohol, so some pretty solid rewards overall. You do not need to open this if you want. If you don't want to, that zombie from time to time will get up and uh, they'll scare you as well. Let's jump over to the other side. This clears it. It's a pretty easy location for the most part to clear. Some of the stuff that you can't avoid these dead zombies on the ground here will get up this here we have a zombie officer the only main difference between these regular kind of zombies officers and these guys is they take less damage they have a better, little bit better armor on and uh, they'll be able to sustain your hits a little bit better you can sneak attack this guy so we're gonna go ahead hungry chopper get our sneak on we crunched him i'm gonna swap back Take care of this this other zombie officer he decided to get up again you can get mobbed a few different locations in this spot so just be careful with that and again having some good heals on hand ready to keep yourself up and running is good here is our first cell key so i'll show you what that looks like actually right now just so that we can do kind of a full in-depth detailed guide of this and i'm going to open up the one that had this guy i don't know if this will be the cell or not but we'll take the chance so you come over here you unlock the door and then you'll be able to search this bed and again this can have really good stuff in it this actually was the one that was purely lucky it's not always the one with the zombie in it i will say that very clearly but 
we see two aluminum plates here and sometimes you will see one steel plate which is great typically you do get some kind of melee weapon here we have a makeshift bat and then here we also have the tank top uh, armor as well in addition to a few things so that was excuse me a great pull for us to be able to open that up so we'll be definitely coming back to grab obviously all of these different rewards rewards as we have as part of this but i want to grab my heels back there's nothing really special about this you can open up this if you want no big deal there then we'll come over we have a couple other zombie officers we'll take care of right here the dog is especially helpful now you will see another new zombie in this section and it's good and important that we actually cover this prior to getting to the waves because each of these different zombies you will see over the course of working through the waves this is an explosive zombie as you can imagine he explodes <laughs> okay uh when you get him down below 25 health he will blow up if you get caught in the explosion it is an instant death so you can utilize the wall to kind of just avoid him He's the only one in this area of just the regular clearance that you have to worry about. Again, more strings, uh, springs, more heels, which is really, really nice. Um, so he's the only one of that you have to worry about in your kind of normal walkthrough. And then we'll see quite a few of these guys as we get into 20 waves. Even more goodies. This is really good rewards. We're getting really lucky, actually. Seeing first aid kits and all that stuff has uh, been really nice. We got our Bloodhound skills going on right now so we're probably getting some luck from that all right this is the last of the big guys we're gonna take him down we'll see if the saw blade mace can finish him off fully nope not quite we'll just have the dog do the work okay there we go easy peasy can like i said outside of those big guys um there's really not a whole lot else that you have to worry about here having some decent armor and weapons and some heals a lot of this is easily done with melee you can try to take those guys down that but we don't want them to heal and uh this is your last area that you need the burglar skill for i have seen this be at least level two or level three you can't try to kill these guys with melee as well they're just very annoying i hate this zombie i really do if you've watched this channel for more than five seconds i hate hate these guys they're so annoying because they just slow your progression down. Guy just never drops the shield. Get worked. Okay, you're dead. Gosh, I hate those guys. Last two chests that we have inside of here. Showcase what we got. Again, another journal or survivor's notes, whatever. Very, very good. If you need them, obviously, if you're not max level. And then some other good stuff. So really solid location. I do try to hit this one on our free-to-play series quite often. Uh, just to get these basic rewards because again working up some cards is really good in addition to uh, a lot of the stuff that we can find along the way all right let's jump into the waves probably the part that you were here for so um essentially what's going to happen is you're going to be closed into this section now if you have a dog or a companion you can utilize them and we're going to do that what's going to happen is all of the enemies each time that you set a new wave it's just waves of zombies. They're gonna, this is gonna open up. They're gonna flood in. It's starts out for the first couple of waves of this to be only a few zombies, two to three at max. After that point, then you're gonna start seeing five zombies pretty consistently. Uh, and I think it's upwards of the 20 or 25 levels, you're gonna start to see six and more zombies. Uh, it does cap out pretty close to that. Uh, but as you progress through the waves, you're going to see more and more zombies. They are going to be relatively randomized with some groupings is the best way to describe this. Uh, so once you get especially past level 15 or so, you're going to see explosive zombies every wave. And then you're going to see just a variation of the bigger zombie floater bloater officers, brawlers, riot shield zombies, uh, you're going to see just the whole mix of them as you go through this. So I'll talk about uh, right now here our gear set. This is what I typically bring in order to take this down with a few exceptions. One, I'm typically going to bring more weapons. What I would typically do to set this up is come clear this location fully, grab all of the loot and everything. And then you can utilize these two lockers temporarily, not always, temporarily. You will lose your stuff. You can throw some gear and some different armor and things inside of here, which is what we're going to do right now just to hold this stuff so that we're not trying to swap into different uh, armors and stuff while we grab additional weapons. 
So what I'll do is clear the full location, grab all the stuff, drop some sets of armor in here, run back, run back to the base, grab some additional weapons to be able to do this. Um, and then again, you can utilize these for storage throughout. So you wanna make sure that you have some spare sets of armor. That's the first one, because you are going to take damage from your explosives. You may say, Doc, well, why do you have these two explosives? By far and away, the easiest, simplest, most simple method to clear this is landmines. Without a doubt, 100%, all you do, place this, go trigger the wave, everything I will show you, they will blow up, you're done. You collect the rewards, you place another mine, you move on. Mines, super, super simple. Grenades are probably the next best thing. Grenades you can throw, you'll, we'll, you'll we'll showcase this. You throw the grenade, you're gonna stand on top of it, you're gonna blow up most of the zombies, with the exception of riot shield zombies, because they move slower. And uh, you should be able to get the vast majority of the zombies with this grenade. You'll then have to finish off a little bit of damage on some of the bigger enemies, take out the riot zombies, and your wave is complete. Hence the need for some additional weapons. Very much like the grenade, your grenade launcher here can also work the same and will do essentially the same thing. The reason it is strongly recommended to do this during the course of the event is because you take 20% less damage from explosives. So you can do this during, without this event going on, just be prepared for additional sets of armor and additional heals if you wanna work through some waves. The fact that we have this is essentially gonna reduce a bit of that damage and a bit of that wear on our stuff. So that's why we're prepared to come and knock this out. Now, again, I'm only going to go ahead and do 20 waves in the course of this, but obviously if you wanna do more, I, it is strongly recommended that you get past level 20 to kind of get the best kind of gains from the rewards. If you don't go all the way to 99, that's totally fine, as long as you can progress. But keep in mind, you are utilizing resources essentially to try to trade them for cards and subsequently blueprints, which is most likely what you're probably trying to go after. So uh, any kind of weapon will do here. The first handful of waves can actually be done with just basic melee. There are probably some other tricks with melees and a bunch of heals and some other stuff that you can do. I don't recommend that. Grenades, mines, grenade launchers are gonna be your best friend to take care of this very, very quickly. I also do recommend bringing in some type of food. Sometimes I'll bring water, if I'm, especially if I'm gonna do like the 99 waves, but food will get you through a lot of this. And again, spare heals, also very important. So let's jump in and take care of this. I also have the drone. We're gonna use this for a wave or two. All you're gonna do here, again, is come in here. This talks about pausing it without electronics uh, circuits. Again, this is nice because we have the event active. If you were to die or pause this, Outside of the event, you would have to utilize an electronic circuit to pick up in your progress where you left off. And again, keep in mind that everything in this location will disappear upon the reset. So make sure that you grab everything out of the lockers if you come in here to get this started. So first couple waves, very easy. We're gonna knock these guys out. Bing, bing, boom, a couple melees and the dead. You are gonna see some cards start to drop. Not every zombie is going to drop some. So do keep that in mind. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. You get a little bit of delay. You're seeing here now we got three enemies, all basic zombie officers, jailbirds, no big deal. Take a couple of hits here. Bing, bang, boom. Can't also utilize any of the additional buffs that you would want uh, during the course of this. Uh, so if there's anything that you get from, you know, cooking, cooking fish or VIP station or from the medic, uh, the healing guy, whatever his name is, uh, you can make use of that as well. I do recommend utilizing your healing skill here. That will save you a bit of heals over the course of this as well. So you're gonna see through wave four is where I typically like to go. Because again, not too difficult here. We don't wanna get stunned by the brawler. Taking out each of these zombie officers. They, we will take some pretty significant damage now that we've lost our armor. And the brawler hits very, very hard, as you can see here, without armor especially. So we will grab a next a set of armor. Boom, boom. And uh, we'll do the next wave with the help of our drone friend. Because again, this one won't be too bad. Get the drone in here. We got our first explosive zombie, so keep an eye on these guys. That likely will be the thing that kills you the most. Now, what ended up happening here is uh, 
is our, our our drone here ended up taking out the explosive zombie before he exploded so that is a possibility we also have incendiary ammo on this thing now which is absolutely just amazing uh the drone is so 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 good so i'm gonna actually utilize the drone here for a wave or two and he's running away from me back drone i want to use this up honestly now we do have a hungry chopper as well you can see him healing like we talked about before we are going to want to try to get him dead as quickly as we can we want to get the brawler dead as well we're taking some pretty significant damage so you can see how this is not necessarily uh the easiest of locations uh to take these down so uh i think from this point now i am going to sounds like the drone is flying away so we're going to utilize some of our other capabilities here and uh the first one that i want to do here is just to showcase these mines again mines 100 are the easiest way all you got to do is you can't get too close to this okay so that if you try to place this right here it's not going to let you again if you're too close it's not going to let you you essentially will find the sweet spot where you can place this and you do need to be relatively close this one's a little offset to the side be careful about this but this should still work and again you're not even going to see these zombies when they spawn in so we're placing this one drone we're going to start this up boom everything dies that's it they all run in including the riot zombies which again is why i recommend uh these landmines they are the absolute best it's like they were purpose made for this uh honestly you find a nice little sweet spot tucked just a little bit away from this every once in a while a zombie or two from this will sneak through so do have a spare weapon ready to go but we're gonna knock out a good amount of zombies just purely by taking care of this right here now, i'm not going to use all of these but we'll do a handful more and just show you the effectiveness of this uh, probably get up to i don't know wave 10 or so i've got to get to 20. nice part here is uh during the event this will still count for damage uh and zombies killed so you don't have to worry about that you're getting seasonal progress as well uh by working through this so this is a good location to do i strongly recommend if you have the supplies to knock this out as consistently as you can when it's up as a seasonal event and uh the nice part here is now we are getting past level 10 should open up the ability to grab some of the higher end cards it's very good oh we're on to wave 11 boom 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 you will see this pick up uh in terms of drops from time to time here's our first green card which is really awesome so now at this point what i want to do is i'm going to swap over to the grenade technique now this one's going to be a little bit less favorable mines are obviously the best because you don't use anything else it's purely the mine that's it you don't even take any damage grenades and the grenade launcher is going to cause you to take a bit of damage so what we're going to do here is we're going to get this started i'm going to run forward a little bit essentially i'm just going to toss this i'm going to count it's going to explode i'm going to run away and then i'm going to clear any remaining zombies as you can see hungry chompers and the brawlers if they had them they will have a little bit of life left this will not capture and you will probably see it here in a wave or two this will not capture the riot zombies um so do keep that in mind watch your health again the reason that this is so difficult outside of the event is the fact that um if you time your grenade right you can get out of the way of it which is really good um but if you don't wow level 13 blue card is huge uh that's not a very common drop i will say uh, but that's really good um, but that's why it's recommended to do it during the event is because you want the extra explosion protection you're going to take some damage from this zombie officers will also avoid this uh fatal damage as well but it is a good way to clear out the vast majority of the zombies help to save a ton of your guns i will showcase that this works uh the grenade launcher essentially is going to work the same way Now you can also use this on yourself in 
And typically I have not perfected that because I don't use the grenade launcher a ton, uh, but I do seem to take some additional damage. Uh, really what you want to wait is you want to wait for all the zombies to group up. You blow yourself up, then you blow these guys up. And as you noticed here, the riot zombie, again, even though we waited, still did not get inside of that track um, for any of the explosives. That's why, again, the mine is the most, most effective. Now, you could clean up the zombies with melee if you want to do that. That is certainly an option for you, but do just keep in mind that you're going to need to bring a pretty hefty amount of additional gear, heals, weapons, and all those kinds of things in order to do that. Um, you can leave these cards on the ground in between waves. I do not recommend that. There has been a glitch in the past where some of them will essentially just disappear and uh, I would not want to do that. It doesn't take but a second to clean them up anyways. So I strongly recommend that uh, you just clean them up as you go. It makes it really nice. Plus you get a nice little nice little boost of morale when you hit a green card right like that. That is just uh, really, really nice. So that is essentially the technique and the tactic, tactics, I will say, for clearing this location. That's it. Uh, best of luck, like I said, working through. Um, again, you can do this pretty, I'll say pretty on the cheap. I do personally recommend, nice, another blue card. That's really big. Some good hits. We've gotten really lucky here. Um, I personally, again, love the mines, and I do think that grenades are a very, very effective method for being able to take this down as well. Grenade launchers, if you have them, can also be very effective. And uh, essentially any opportunity you have to get, uh, I would say, some good, uh, some good crowd control damage done uh, is really nice. So that right here, you just saw glitch. We did not blow up. So that's why we bring the minigun. Minigun actually can be pretty effective. Dodge it! Woo! The minigun actually can be pretty effective, so I'm actually a little happy that this happened. Um, because I, I did get to showcase this. God, I hate these enemies. Um, so this is a way, if you have some mini guns at your base and you want to utilize them, you can, you absolutely can. And, uh, they're not ineffective at all, as you have seen. So this actually should be a pretty good placement for this. Not sure why that one won't explode. So, uh, I'm going to come prepared to, uh, do some damage. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, if you do have options for the AK-47 grenade launcher, this can be a tool that you can use in addition to spread shots. So we'll see if this blows these guys up. It is not, so we're in a bad spot. So uh, we got that off as well. So spread shot can be super, super effective. Let me go ahead and see, get this off as well. And it works the same and we died, which is totally fine. Grenade launcher effect from the AK-47 will also work. Now the good part about this is, and I'll showcase also, this is just good time that I'm going to showcase this. We're essentially going to be able to run back and all of our stuff will still be there. So that is the good part about this is uh, if you do die during the course of this, I'll get to showcase at least this portion of the event that you can just essentially run back here. You can get this clean back up, grab all of your supplies and get this restarted if you choose to do so. Okay. And as you can see, we're back. We haven't touched our body. We're here. We're good to go. We can grab all of our supplies. No concerns there. It does essentially reset to that current wave that you were on. So do keep that in mind. It looks like we... I'm going to go ahead and just reset our armor here because I do need to clear one additional wave. We have done actually really well in terms of uh, rewards for this. I'm actually really happy with what cards we've been able to pick up. So that has been good. Um, I'll see if I can use this to a little bit more effectiveness i have a feeling that uh this mine here is not going to work in its current placement so actually let's see
just blew ourselves up. Not really sure why that wasn't working, to be honest with you. That's pretty decent placement. But. Pretty effective little strategy there. Not not bad. Not bad. No. Fortunately, I'm going to run around here. Dog is helping me out. Uh, but with the help of the dog and our shotgun. Can you kill him? Thank you. We'll clear this wave. So lots of different ways to take this down. And uh, you can see that uh, you can do a lot of running around. You do a lot of different things. Uh, to be able to clear this. I'm going to go ahead and do one one more wave. Uh, just because I want to make sure that placement was bad. There's the soft spot right there. Should be good. Get one more just to make sure that we get over the 20 mark. There we go. Good placement. And wave complete. And again, we're going to 20 waves because uh, we're trying to get our uh, our tasks done here. So that is all she wrote here in terms of this. We're going to go ahead. We'll pause this here. I don't want to do any more. Not going to utilize any other resources. But really quickly, I will showcase here for you. And we'll do one blue card, I think, because we can. We'll showcase that we are, we're going to trade in essentially these. Now, if you clear through 99 waves, you're going to do really well. Uh, in the most part, I typically end up with at least, I would say, a pretty decent amount of blue cards. Uh, quite a few greens will end up getting, I would say, probably in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 blue cards, I feel like I have seen uh, on really, really good runs, uh, both by getting lucky and then getting enough cards to then trade up. So do keep that in mind. It can really sustain you if you can get all the way through 99. If not, you can see even getting through 20 waves here was really successful. We'll turn these in. Essentially, we'll get one more. We can get up to three blue cards if we really want to. We'll go grab a few more uh, around that we left and uh, could easily get to that point. So very, very successful for us. And again, I'm going to use one of these blue cards just to showcase this. In my opinion, the best box. We have a blue weapon mod, which again, we have this one already. We got some caps as well, which is cool. We got steel plate, tactical set of armor, shotgun, and an M16, and some heals. Really, really good. I think these are probably some of my favorite crates uh, in the entire game. So really happy to grab some rewards. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope the deep dive was interesting in terms of clearing location, working through the waves, different strategies and some of the best tactics to be able to take this down. Best of luck if you're jumping in and clearing Blackboard PD. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning, if there's any comments or any tips or tricks that are helpful for you that we did not showcase down below, be sure to throw those down there. Again, if you want to do this more minimalistic, you certainly can. You can work that grind. I'm trying to show you know what I think is to be the most effective ways. And again, I know mines are difficult, difficult to come by, but if you can get a stockpile of these, they are absolutely brutal for taking this out and can really, really help you to progress through this very, very easily. So again, hopefully it was helpful. I'm going to flash some socials. Take a look at some of the other uh, stuff that we have going on in the channel. Again, I mentioned free to play a handful of times. We've got a free to play series. We're doing a whole bunch of other last day on earth content, and we're going to continue to build out our wasteland survival guide here with more tips and tricks and guide videos. So be sure to stay stop back in we're doing a raid we have a raid series as well to help you with those so really trying to be a helpful resource for the last day on earth community with all that being said and my stumbles done i've doc we're the average gamer guys as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video peace